Huda Beauty just launched her last big palette ever, allegedly, and it came in the form of this beautiful icy nude collection. We've got an eyeshadow palette, we've got bronzers, we've got a face gloss, we've got lip glosses. In this video, I'm gonna be swatching and honestly reviewing every single one of the products in this collection for you guys. So let's get right into it. All right, so I think we're all the most excited for the eyeshadow palette. Apparently the last big palette that Huda Beauty is ever going to make. I just, I don't believe it, honestly. Do you guys believe it? Is it really gonna be the last one? Anyways, regardless, this is what she looks like. Very classy. I actually quite like this packaging. And then this is what the palette looks like on the inside. How pretty is this palette? Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And this palette goes for 69 US dollars. This palette contains 18 different shades. This palette has one duochrome metallic, one biodegradable glitter, two trichrome formulas, three foil shimmers, and 11 mattes. So let's dive right into this palette. You guys, there is something inside of me that just like, oh, I cringe whenever I'm about to dip into a brand new palette. A part of me just wants to keep it perfect forever, but that wouldn't be much fun, now would it? So I swatched every single color in this eyeshadow palette, and this is what they look like. And obviously these swatches look great on my arm, but today we're gonna put them to the test on the eye because they always look a little different. I want this look to be very cool toned, so I'm actually gonna use the shade Poise right here as my crease shade. It's just a really pretty kind of like grayish eyeshadow. And I'm going in on a Refer 13 brush. This is one of my favorite brushes to build up my crease because it's not too big, it's detailed enough, but you still get that really pretty airbrushed finish without being too fluffy that you lose control and you begin to start looking kind of muddy. I really can't stand when that happens, so I'm working in very thin layers and slowly building this shade up. That shadow blended out really nicely and I really like this color. It's very cool, icy. I really feel like Huda just like nails it when it comes to trends. This very icy, frosty style of makeup I really think is coming back in. But now I'm gonna go in with this white shade Avalanche. I'm just gonna pack that shadow on the lid with a flat shader brush. I'm using the Tenille Jai Carb and Apply brush. This one's really great for building out a cut crease. Immediately, I am obsessed with this shade. It is truly so unique. Palettes these days don't often have like a stark white shade and as a pale skin girl, I love a white shade. I just don't typically get that highlighted look on my eyes and this is giving that to me and I am so happy with it. It was super easy to apply and blend. The pigment is there. This I'm liking so far. I don't know if this silver shade platinum right here is gonna be too dark, but I'm gonna try and apply that to the lid. I'm going to apply this color with my fingers. I'm just gonna lightly tap this in the center of my lid to begin to build that shimmery icy dimension. That is so pretty. I think that silver is so nice. It's not too like overpowering, which is nice. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Diamond Dew, which is another silver shade, except this one looks a little bit more glittery and shimmery so I have a feeling this one is going to pack more of a punch. Again, just picking that up with my finger and tapping it in the center of the lid. Okay, I'm experiencing quite a bit of fallout with this one, so I think I need a little bit of a base before I go into this. Okay, so I brushed away most of that fallout. There was quite a bit, but it actually brushed away pretty easily. I put a little bit of a like gripping primer on my lid. So let's try this again. I'm also just going in a little bit more sparingly because I kind of went in a little heavy handed at first. Okay, these are insane. Do you see that shimmer? Whoa. There's still a little bit of fallout that happened, but nothing major. It definitely looks a hundred times better when you have a bit of a tacky base to apply these shadows to. The intensity and application was a lot better as well. Look at that, you guys. I will say Huda's more glittery finished eyeshadows in this palette do feel a little bit heavier on the lid. They don't exactly feel weightless, but they are really good for like a special occasion or if you're looking for really high impact. This isn't something I would really reach for for every day, but it is so much fun nonetheless. I think just to achieve the max amount of icy, I'm also gonna go in with this white shimmery shade here. It's got a little bit of like a blue reflect. So I think this is gonna look really cool. And I'm just applying that with my finger right in the very center of my lid. It is such a pretty eyeshadow topper. You could even wear this on its own, but the icy look on my eyes right now is insane. They're so reflective in person. I really don't think the camera is doing it justice. 
I'm just going to take a small pencil brush. This is a Refer 23 brush, and I'm going to pick up the shade Highlight, and I'm just going to run that right along the outer half of my lower lash line. All right, I'm just kind of making up this eye look as I go. I'm going to take a little break from shadow, and I'm going to do my tight line. I'm going in with the Dior Waterproof Creamy Eyeliner in the shade Black, and I'm just adding that into my tight line to make my lashes look more dark, more long all that good stuff. I'm actually going to drag that halfway across my lower lash line as well. I just kind of want a very intense eye look. You guys, I love this eyeliner because it is so black and it actually stays put. It truly is waterproof. It doesn't move around or budge on me throughout the day. So this is like my go-to for tight line and waterline. It's pricey, but it's worth it. To intensify the waterline a little bit, I'm just gonna dip into the shade Faux Fur. I'm gonna pick that up on a flat brush. And this is just a really rich dark brown. I'm just pressing that right on top of that waterline black eyeliner that we just applied. I wanna see how these eyeshadows perform as liner. So I'm gonna go in with the shade She Rich. This is this dark kind of like almost black shade, but not, it's almost like a plummy color. And I'm just using a small angled brush to map out my eyeliner shape. I'm keeping this pretty close to my lash line. I don't want it to be too insane. That eyeshadow actually applied really easily as liner. It gave me enough pigment and it also didn't give me any fallout, so I appreciate that. I think the eyes look really pretty so far. To finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna give my lashes a coat of mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Panorama Mascara. My opinion remains pretty consistent with other Huda Beauty palettes in the past. I really love their matte shadows, particularly their formula in that way stands out so much to me. Their shimmer formulas honestly are not my favorite necessarily, but they are good still. And I think people who like more intense eyeshadow looks would gravitate more towards these shimmers. The shimmers I tend to use tend to be more of like a sheer eyeshadow topper kind of vibe. So depending on your preference, that's something to keep in mind. Let's move on to cheeks, shall we? So as we all know, Blonzing is trending right now and Huda, being the genius that she is, came out with two new blush filter shades. These bronzers retail for 21 US dollars each. The first shade we have here is Latte, which is a lighter, blonzy shade. It's got that brown base, but it's got a little bit of a pinky tone to it, so you can get away with wearing it as blush. And then for deeper skin tones, we have a darker shade called Coco Loco, and this is just a darker brown blush. And this one, in my opinion, has a little bit less of a pink tone. This is more of a bronze shade, but let's try both of them. I'm nervous. I think I'm gonna start with the darker shade. I honestly don't know if this is something I'm gonna be able to use, being that I'm so fair, but let's give it a shot anyways. I'm gonna use it as more of like a bronzer, I think. So I'm just gonna apply about that much. And what I love about these is they are so easy to blend Okay, so I'm starting to see the pink tinge. At first glance, this looked really just like dark brown in the bottle. Oh, but this is like a black cherry kind of vibe. This is definitely more of a bronzer. Okay, okay. Wait, why is that so pretty? And it blends so easily. It's so forgiving. I mean, obviously I applied a very small amount. But this works on my fair skin, actually. It's gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I kind of wrote this off before I even tried it. Sometimes I see these deep shades and I just get a little bit intimidated and I'm like, there's no way that could work for me. But this is actually really pretty. Oh my gosh, I like it. Okay, now I'm really curious to see what this lighter shade is going to look like. Let's go in with Latte. I'm gonna apply this more on the apples of my cheeks. Mm, that's a pretty color. It's giving like freckle from Rode in their pocket blushes. I think I applied a little bit too much. Okay, so obviously that's a lot of blush, but you can really see the color. These are true bronzers. I was hesitant at first, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought these were just gonna be like liquid bronzers. But I haven't seen a lot of products like this come out on the market. Coco Loco, I think, would be so good on deeper skin tones. And even on fair skin tones, as you can see, if you're into like a dark berry kind of blush vibe, this is really, really pretty. I think for the winter, 
this is gonna be a really hot product. And for my more fair to light skin girls, this is a beautiful shade. This is the main color that I have on my cheeks, the shade Latte. This is really pretty and this might be my new favorite blush filter. I really like the shade Cotton Candy, but this is really pretty, especially for fall and winter. Oof. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. This product is probably the one out of the collection that I'm the most skeptical about. This is their face gloss in the shade Frostbite. This face gloss retails for 39 US dollars. And I've tried Huda's face glosses before and I just wasn't the biggest fan. So I'm wondering if this one is gonna be different. I think the little specks on the product itself give some people the ick because it looks kind of like mold. It's funny, my husband was like, it looks like germs. But to me, I really don't mind it. I think it's fun, it's cool, it's innovative, it's different. As for the product itself in application, Let's find out. I kind of toned down my blush a little bit. I'm just gonna apply it on top and get a feel for what I think. I'm just gonna pick that up on my fingers and begin to apply that. So my immediate honest thoughts, you can see the pH pink shade that shows up on the skin immediately. To me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the pH pink shade. However, this I think on its own with no makeup would look really pretty. And I'm also really impressed with the way this product applied on top of my full face of makeup. I have foundation, blush, powder on my face right now and this didn't separate any of that underneath. And it looks pretty like honestly with the rest of this makeup and I think just the icy nude collection. This does fit. It gives a really pretty dewy finish without being sticky, which is another pro. It really just depends what you're looking for. If you like pH products, if you like more of a dewy blush, if you like this color, this is a good product on paper. Like the formula is good. I think the idea is really cool. It's just not really my vibe, you know? Let's move on to lips. These glasses retail for $19 and they've launched in three new shimmery shades. I personally like a glittery lip gloss, so I'm excited to dive into these. The first shade we have here is She Glitzy, and this is kind of like a clear gloss with a ton of glitter. It really fits in with the icy nude collection vibe. I'm just gonna apply this right on top of my lip combo right now. Definitely gives a frosty, icy finish. What do you guys think? I quite like it. To me, it's nothing like super special or revolutionary, but it's a pretty gloss. I like the way it gives my lips a bit of a cool, nudie finish. I personally would have liked to see a bit more glitter because on the lips, I honestly can't really see the glitter in a super noticeable way. These are high shine. I think they smell good. I think it's just like a vanilla-y scent. And these are, a little sticky, but they don't get stringy on the lips. And I honestly applied a pretty liberal amount of this. So I would say it's not the most non-sticky lip gloss that I've ever tried, but it doesn't bother me at all. The next shade we have is She Flirty. This is a glittery peachy pink shade. It's a little bit more on the cool side. So this one has more pigment obviously than the last one. The last one was more clear. This one has a bit more of an opaque pink base. I think the shade is really nice. You still get that icy effect, which I think is really pretty. I personally like that. Again, the shimmer is not super noticeable. I wish it was a little bit more shimmery, but that's just my personal preference. I have really deep lines in my lip, and this honestly isn't settling in too badly. If I wanted to get really nitpicky, you do kind of see a little bit more unevenness the way it sits on the lips. But overall, I think this is a really pretty color. I would wear this kind of for an everyday lip topper shade. I think I actually prefer the previous shade better. This is really pretty. Do I absolutely love it and feel like everyone needs it in their collection? No, but if you like the color, why not? And now onto the final shade, we have She Fire. This is a dark chocolatey brown with glitter. I'm a little nervous for this one because I don't usually wear brown lip glosses. I'm not really a brown lip girl, but let's see, let's give her a shot. I'm gonna be completely honest, y'all. This one is a pass for me. I think this would be beautiful on deeper skin tones or people who like dark brown lip colors in general. That's just not me. I'm more of a pinky lip color kind of girl, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Can I pull off this color? I just feel like I cannot pull off brown on my lips, just not for me personally, so it's a pass. My favorite shade of the lip glosses is She Glitzy, so I'm just gonna put that one back on. And by the way, if y'all are curious, 
about my lip liner. It's Huda Beauty Honey Beige Lip Liner. I'm gonna link it down below. I love this lip liner. It's not too pink, not too brown. It is perfect. Yeah, this lip gloss shade is definitely my favorite. If I had to pick one, it would be this one. So here are my final thoughts. Here's what I would recommend and what I would pass on. First off, we have the Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Purchase or pass, I say purchase, especially because allegedly this is Huda Beauty's last big eyeshadow palette. This is honestly probably the favorite one that I've ever owned. I personally love cool tone shadows and I think there's a really good diversity of shades in here. The one thing I would have liked to see is a black, but not a deal breaker for me. I think this is a really fun palette and I think it's about to be really, really in trend. So I say pick up yours you can. I am going to link this palette as well as everything else I mentioned down in the description box down below. Just so you know, they are affiliate links. So what that means is if you purchase a product using the link in the description box, I get a small percentage of the sale. And of course, no pressure to use my links. But if you do want to support me and my channel in that way, it's greatly appreciated. I always want to be super transparent with you guys. And then we got the bronzers. These took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting to like these as much as I did, especially this darker shade here. These are both beautiful. And as you guys know, if you watch any of my other videos, I'm a huge fan of the Huda Beauty blush filters. I think the formula is incredible. So great for beginners. If you have a hard time blending your brush, I mean blush, why do I always do that? But yeah. Definitely recommend these if you're looking to get into the bronzer trend or if you like a more brownie blush, these, so good. And now we've got the controversial face gloss. Honestly, I would personally say pass. I think this is fun. I think this is different. If you want a pH adjusting dewy blush, you would probably like this one, but for me, it's not something I'm gonna use very often, so I can't say I recommend it. Last but not least, we have the glosses. And these, I'm gonna be honest, slightly underwhelmed. I do actually recommend this one because I think this is quite unique. I don't have a gloss quite like it in my collection. It gives a really subtle, icy, frosty look to the lips that I actually really like, so I will be using this one. These two, mm, these two I'm torn between purchase or pass. Honestly, I think for me, it just depends on what color of lip gloss you like. If I was gonna be really nitpicky about this pink one, it didn't apply like 100% smoothly. And to me, there's nothing super special about this color in particular. I just prefer the previous one that I spoke about more. Not to say this isn't a pretty gloss. If you like this shade, by all means, the formula is good. And then the brown, I just have to say pass on this because personally, I don't like brown glosses. But if you like brown glosses, I think you might really like this one. And I think for the fall and winter season, for those of you who like a brown lip, you'll probably like this, honestly. And that's it for my full review of the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Collection. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know what you're gonna pick up from this collection down in the comments. I am so snoopy. I love to know what you guys are picking up. I respond to pretty much every single comment, so I'll meet you guys there. And if you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Join the fam. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.